Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry for the delayed start there, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. I just had to get myself a little bit prepared. There was an issue with Instagram, um, so I had to do it manually. Oh my goodness, having to do things manually. Who in the world would want to even think about doing that? But I had to, so it's all good. <laughs> How is everybody tonight? It's a little bit of a chill night, nothing too crazy. Um, again, another, it was you know normally on a Wednesday night we do Pokemon Go raid night, but unfortunately it's too difficult with um, with Alex. He eats at six. He's as tired as anything after a massive day at daycare, and then we. Um, yeah, Miss Supermuzz and I have to have put him to sleep, and then we have to have dinner. So, um, I I apologise that we haven't been we've been neglecting raid hour, but unfortunately, right at this time, it is impossible. So, raid hour will go on a little bit of a hiatus at this stage. Um, not because well, I mean the antics screwing us over royally normally anyway. But it's just more so the fact the little man he's got to be our priority. We can't. You know, Miss Supermuzz, you know, on a Wednesday night, or not normally a Wednesday, but today was an exception. Um, you know, she had to come from work, and that's a fairly long drive. Um, so it's 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 difficult. Um, you know, we, we kind of keeping him up long enough as it is, you know, just so she can have some time with him, because it's it sucks, you know, it, it's not her fault. I mean, we've got to do this our situation, but... Um, you know, in the end, Alex needs to eat. Alex needs to sleep. We need to spend time with him <laughs> as well, so we can't neglect him. <clears throat> so to try and do that around, like, between 5, 5.15, 5.30 when we pick him up and 7 o'clock when he generally goes to bed, um, we got to cram a lot of things in, you know. Playtime, eating, preparing for sleep, brushing teeth, changing clothes, changing nappies... There's a lot to put in there, so unfortunately it just sits right on that raid hour period. Can't do much about that, unfortunately. That's that's and that's it's one of those things that we can't change. We can't change it. It is. So, um Wednesday nights will be the full push back to the eight thirty slot. I'm deciding whether to make Wednesday nights a Lego build. Probably will. Uh, I know I've done one on Tuesday. That was a shortish stream. Uh, sorry, Monday. That was a shorty stream today. Tonight we've got something a little bit longer. We've been, we're actually delve, diving, diving headfirst into the Technics. Um, not my first Technics kit that I'm doing, but uh, still, nonetheless, they're always challenging. So we're going to keep our wits about us tonight. Um, so there we are. So I do apologise. Um, life is life. We deal with it as we go. Um, we can't do much about it, but it's a motor racing field tonight uh, in our uh, in our stream. Uh, as I well, you would have seen on the socials, I mentioned that uh, McLaren has announced. Yo, too many doggos. How are you, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here, uh, and thank you for that. We we tried. You know, Miss Supermuzz try. Miss Supermuzz and I try to handle it as uh, efficiently as possible. Um, because in the end, we're both in this, right? So we, we both have to, you know, do, do what we can to, to look after the little man. So, um, And unfortunately, Pokemon Go has to take a backward step. But if there is an opportunity to do a raid hour, we will. We will. So, as I was saying, um, it's a bit of a motorsport theme tonight. Uh, McLaren, Formula One team, announced their, um, their livery for 2024. Um, in an absolute surprise, they went all uh, Taylor Swift reputations, um, reputations era uh, mode, and deleted their Instagram. Like every video was was removed from their Instagram, except for one saying "Whatever it takes." It's their slogan, "Whatever it takes." And they came out on the sixteenth of uh, January. So yes to today oh, i guess it's yesterday now because that's all past sorry one sec 
they came out and they uh, announced their new livery. Look, I will say this, it does look very good. Um, we have an Aussie racing for, um, uh, for McLaren, so yay for that. He's no Danny Rick, but, you know, Oscar Piastri will do for now. Um, we all love Danny Rick here. Everyone loves Danny Rick. Now, you're probably saying, well, well, are we getting the Formula One car? Which, you know, would be great. But it's freaking big, man. This Formula One car is, like, huge. It's, like, about that long. And it's going to take time. And that's really fiddly. And I'm going to have to do a really long stream for that separate, right? But we're still dealing with the McLaren family we could do speed races but i thought no let's do something different give a bit of love to a bit of motorsport that's not really getting that much attention um and that is trying to be as environmentally friendly as possible and that's the extreme e competition um of which mclaren does have a race car red ghost family first always mate. thank you very much um totally understand journeys we take in this series yeah that's it man that's it Thank you very much, and that's appreciated. Thank you for being there. And it's you know, I still want to give you something. It's you know, I'll, this is I'm okay. Let me be a little bit of a narcissist here. I like sharing with people. <laughs> I want to share people me. <laughs> I want to share me with people. That sounds really dodgy, <laughs> but um, you know, this is here just as a bit of a a hangout on a on a Wednesday night again. Like I said, um. Pokemon Go is going to take a bit of a hiatus on raid nights. If we can get to one, great. We'll do it. We'll notify everyone. Everyone jump on. Yeah, great. If not, we'll just do a Wednesday night stream. Um, like I said, still got to decide. Monday nights or Wednesday nights that are going to be the Lego build night. We'll see how we go. Um, but this week, we're getting two Lego builds. So, yay. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So, we love to share the love. Sorry, my hair's being a bit of a spaz today. It's it's been really humid, so my hair is kind of frizzy, and I hate it. Double, we're double exactly, doggos. We're double bricking it this week. Double. I should have used. Oh man, I should have used that as my title. Double bricking. That's all right. It's all good. I'm gonna try and make this into make some parts into a TikTok a bit later. Hope you guys, if you're on if you're on our on my socials. Thank you for the shout out there. I didn't, see, I didn't see who did it. So guys, if you haven't followed too many doggos, please make sure you do uh, for some awesome content. Um, it's not letting me see what exactly you know, what you, you did last did, but I'm guessing it's going to be Pokemon Go. <laughs> um, all right. So let's get into it. Let's change our scenes. Lego. And this is the bad boy that we're doing. This is the McLaren. That's a bit bright. Hold on, let me just fix my settings. There we go. So this is the McLaren Technics Extreme E team vehicle. Oh, you do Mario Kart as well. Awesome. You're going to love what's coming up soon. In regards to Lego. Oh, I'm just going to keep a lid on that one. But you're going to love it. <laughs> I'm already loving it. I'm already loving it. Because. Oh you're going to. Oh, I'm going gonna, ah, gonna to bite my tongue. I'm going to bite my tongue. It's going to get exciting. It's going to be good. <laughs> but for the time being. This is what we're doing. This is the Lego Technics. Uh, set 42166, it is the Neom McLaren Extreme E Team Racer. Uh, the Extreme E is basically their electric. Oh, that would, oh, actually, you've just, you've just, you know what I would love? If I had the, the spare, if I had the spare Lego bricks, I'd make the, the shells, the blue shell or the red shell, or the green shell. I don't. Lego should come out with sets of those the Cooper shells, um, but they don't. <laughs> but you know, you, you trust me, it's going to be ah, ah, it's like this is going to be awesome. Anyway, um, so Extreme E, it is off-road dirt racing. Um, they go to some very very far off places to do this racing. Not not quite like uh, Paris to Dakar and stuff like that, but more more of a championship style race. And this is the bad boy. So with Extreme E Racing, um, 
like I said, McLaren has a team. There are other teams involved in the Extreme E racing. Carl Cox, the DJ. DJ Carl Cox has an Extreme E team, believe it or not. Um, drivers for this are male and female. They race against each other. It's not all men. It, it is Each team has a male and a female driver. Vehicles are electrically powered as well. No petrol or diesel or anything like that. So pretty cool series. Uh, we'll flip it over. And you can just see it right there. That's what it actually looks like in real life. Goes 200 kilometers an hour. About 200 kilometers an hour. Uh, 550 horsepower. 0 to 60. 0 to 100 in about 4.5 seconds. Now for a, a race car like this to be doing that sort of speed. Man, that's pretty awesome, right? So with this one here, I'm expecting we're going to be seeing some... Uh, some a, a bit of a differential build um this has a pullback mechanism as well so you pull it back and it slides forward tanner faust is in the team before right yes he is currently in the team actually he's currently in the team how are you missing guy welcome welcome hope you've been doing well i'll tell you who's it yeah it's tanner faust is in the team uh duh, duh. let me do that and that and I think a lady from the Netherlands is racing team. No, I, want, I don't want to know the team. I want Extreme E. There we go. Emma and Tanner. So Emma Gilmore. Wa oh, no. Emma Gilmore and Tanner Faust have departed. After uh, so they'll be having a new actually they'll be having new 2024 driver lineup but it'll be a male and a female driver so um we'll have to wait for the lineup there now it is run by McLaren the same as the Formula One team Zach Brown is the head of this as well um so for those who know their Formula One and know Zach Brown I hate him um because of what he did Daniel. But, you know, in the end, Oscar Piastri's now got his spot, his, his chance, and he's going to watch out for Oscar this season in the Formula 1. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He is going to absolutely kill it this year. But then again, Danny's going to do better in the AlphaTauri as well, so watch out for AlphaTauri. Or what their, new, what their new name will be, which we'll find out in about February. Okay. Oh, I forgot my, my trays. Never forget the trays. They are always an important part of the Lego build. Let's get this keyboard out of the way. The trays are super duper important. Without the trays, everything goes everywhere. We've got the missing, we've got the loose parts, which we keep. I've got some spare stickers from one of my speed champions and a lot of loose bits. Let's pop that over there. We've got our Lego tool as well. So don't forget about that. We always need one of those. Don't ask you how you know this I'm missing. Go, you know what? I ask the question of myself how I know some stuff. And sometimes, like uh, Tyrion Lannister said, I drink and I know things. Except I don't do too much drinking. But I know things. Alrighty, let's have a look at what we've got tonight. Okay, we've got two bags. Empty box on the inside. This is the bad boy we're building. <coughs> Alright, this is... Oh, a lot of... Okay, so it's not a numbered... They're not numbered bags. Okay, so... All right, so we've got a lot of our wheels, seats, a lot of the... Mm, no numbered bags. It's not a, that's not a bad thing. The stickers on this is absolutely... Look at how many stickers there are. No, pr Not many printed pieces, if any at all. I don't think there's any printed pieces on this. No, there are not. Lots of small stuff. Okay, this is just going to be opening up and just sorting from there. But plenty of stickers, plenty of stickers, guys. Um, we're going to have to deal with that. That's fine. We've dealt with it before. 
We'll pop the stickers to the side. We don't want to lose them. This is our uh, pullback mechanism. You can see the little uh, Technics cross uh, cross beam goes into that. The Technics cross beam goes into that, and then that attaches to the um, the wheels. Pull it back and go zoom. Does the zoomies? It does the zoomies, and that's what that is. So that's going to go in place. Uh, RDM DK, hello and welcome. Oh, oh, stickers. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> That's why we use our Lego tool. Our Lego tool, attach a sticker to the back and put it on neatly so we don't have any issues. But we will get to that. We will get to that. Look, it doesn't look like it's too big a build. It might be a bit fiddly. There's a lot of a lot of little pieces, a lot of fiddly little bits that we're gonna have to deal with. Um, so be it. We'll just we'll just deal with it from there. It is what it is. Alrighty, let's get cracker lacking, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open up this box first, or this thing here first. Actually, let me just see something. Yeah, they basically just said open everything up. There is no specific bag to open. It's giving us the, there will be measures on there for the, exactly what we need. So that will be fine. Um, and stickers start very early. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> All right. Let's get cracker lacking. Let's get cracking. How has everyone been? How is everyone's uh, Tuesday and Wednesday? It is hump day. In the creativity go mad. Oh, I wish. No, seriously. You know what, um, too many doggos? If I ever get to the point of having lots of random pieces, or lot, I do want to start collecting random pieces that I can use to do my own builds. When I get to that point, I will put on a challenge that will ask me to build something within 100 pieces. Whether it be a car, whether it be a building, whether it be a bridge, whatever. I'm going to put I'm going to do something like that. I think that's going to be something awesome, but I need to get the pieces first because without the pieces I can't do anything. Unfortunately, a lot of the random bits from the sets I have are little are little bits. They're just little pieces. There's nothing really in there that's going to allow me to build up or build out. I've got a red wig. I got a tree. That's all I got. Haven't built uh, Technics in years, but recall the bags used to be perforated with little holes. No, they're not. No, 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 no perforations in these bags. Um, very easy to tear off the top. No, no problems at all with that. There. I'm um, just gonna set some things aside. Do a quick sort. Just keep a few things. It's going. They're going to be cramped. These. So I think I'm going to have to get all three of them out and set up all three. The little ones I'm just going to put all in one. The good thing is these are easy tear. These are easy tear. So it's easily done. Missing go. I would. Again, cost, space, two big factors right now. I don't have much space in this room. Like, I'm already considering this, uh, this stand that I have of my sports Funkos, my Yankees and my um, Liverpool uh, Funko Pops. That's going to have to get packed away um, just so I can put, thing, uh, I can put things... Uh, where I need to. So this room is very, it's very long. As it's not very long. It's long rather than wide. Um, so there's not much space. It is what it is. We live here. We we enjoy it for what it is. Um, eventually, hopefully, one day that changes and we have somewhere that we can live without this crampedness. <laughs> but that's what you get for this time of home that was the type of home that was built in the fifties. And probably renovated in the 70s. 
Um, and the Funkos, look, the Funkos are a different story. Funko, unfortunately, has kind of gone by the wayside. Um, it's still there. There's still a market for it, but it's kind of that's more to do with Funko themselves trying to build, trying to bring out fifty thousand of the same bloody thing, which was extremely frustrating. Um, so Funko, I am looking to offload. So if there's anyone in Sydney who's looking for Funkos, wants to buy some for a good deal, have a chat to me. I'm more than happy to take you to. Uh, to offload some of the ones that I don't need. Don't get me wrong, there are some that, some that I absolutely love. There are some that I've collected for um, investment because there's some good prices. Um, a shoebox of creativity, yes. Thank you very much, RD. I'm going to say RD for now because that's a lot easier. RD, I love that thinking. That's creative thinking right there. The shoebox of creativity. Pop you there. All right, let's get crack a lacking, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's pop that to the side. Now we are looking for. No, that's not. That's a wing. I don't want that. After a great start, people can't find the piece that I want. <laughs> no, that's a wing. That's a wing. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, chilling with my homies, my homies. This, no, that's a side panel. Must be this one. Yes, that's exactly it. Okay, so we need four of the studs, the double studs. <sighs> yes, I like that shoebox of creativity. I'm so using that. Maybe I'll do a tour. I'll go on my YouTube and do a tour of my shoebox of creativity. You will get credit for that, RD. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> okay. Okay, two black single studs. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this is the Lego piece I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. The black single stud. The Technic single stud. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's just that's a, look i'm the same i've had i thankfully i'll count my lucky stars here i've only ever had one piece that i've had to actually go to lego and say hey i need this and they were awesome to send it out to me which is fantastic and i'll do a youtube video on what to do if you are missing a piece um what a way to start the stream would it be yeah you're missing your first piece it's like yeah great just just great <laughs> uh okay i need oh, no not that one and no that's not what i want so many pieces look the same little little pieces but i've got to find this little bad boy Little like a cover, ring cover. So many comments I could make about that. Nope, nope, nope. They're going to have some decorum in this stream. Some decorum, not a lot, just some. <laughs> okay, just one. And two. Alright, so those collars are being put on. Next, we need the five piece and the seven piece. That's the seven piece, and that's the five piece. Okay. That and that. So that's got us there. That is going to be the front bonnet. I already jumped a page. Jeez, Muzz. <laughs> Come on. All right, stickers. Sticker time. Sticker time. Uh, where's my... Need that bad boy? Sorry, one second. Like my hat. This is one of my old merch hats. Never released. I got one made just to see what it was, was looking like. 
But let's see what happens. You never know. Okay, I need sticker three, four, and seven. So it's looking at me this way. Ooh, my eyes are really bad. Okay, yes. Okay, got it now. Tip for this, especially these long ones, I like to actually go from the side. Makes it a bit easier. And this is how I take it off. Ah, damn it. Come on. It was meant to be easier. It's not proving itself to be so far. All right. Okay, that's sticker number three. Ah, this is the back end of it, actually. This is going to be sticker number four. Sticker number four. placement the placement is always important yeah, it's crooked of course it is can I get it off yes I can haha uh -huh. muzz good work okay let's get this straight sorry I just need to okay there we go we got it straight seriously there we go, just to prove it. Now, this is the, this is crazy, right? Lego have actually just released a new Lego set. It's the Lego um, uh, London Red Telephone Box, right? They released it. They, they, they showed photos of the model set up, and it looks really nice. Not something I'll probably get, but it looks nice. If you love London, definitely get it, get it right? The problem is... All the stickers on the promo material that they've got on the actual piece, they're all crooked. So whoever at Lego did it, didn't do it correctly. And it's like, people are triggered. It's like, why are you presenting this when it's not even done correctly? And it's like, Lego, pull your finger out. <laughs> um, the last set of mine that had missing pieces was the Infinity Gauntlet. Luckily, it was a dark tan, one by two. Uh, which was able to find one of my tubs. Not sure if I'd contact Lego over a trivial piece like that. Maybe a larger piece. Yeah, I mean, in the end, if you've got a spare, put it in. Some people don't have the spare. Maybe the only piece that they get. Um, Lego will send the piece out for free. If you're in Australia, rather than go to Lego, you can actually go to the Lego certified stores and actually go to their website and request a brick and they can do it as well. Uh, which I believe is a bit faster. Or you can go to the Lego store and go to their pick a brick section and actually get your brick from there, should you wish to. I feel like I like need a magnifying glass for this. There we go. Okay, that's done. Next up, let's pop some... We're turning this upside down like this. We're getting a T-section. And we are popping that on there. <coughs> so that's there. And then we're getting one of these bad boys. Uh... Man, this is really hard to see. Okay. Two of these. Oops. Two of those and one double stud. <coughs> Alright. So we're starting off with this. 
I thought you were going to comment on the phone booth stickers not being accurate because the stickers I've seen in London phone booth for the last 10 or so years have all been for Adam. <laughs> oh, yeah. The stickers in the phone booth are of the jazz club and this and that. Certainly not real to life. Certainly not real to life. Alrighty. It would have been funny. <laughs> you can always do a mock. You can always do a mock of it and just have altered stickers. Why is that? Okay, it looks as though the double is through there. Yeah, okay, 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 gotcha. Sorry, I just, it's, it's, the way they set out the image, the photo, it's really hard to see exactly how they've done it. Like that, that. And that is through there. And then this is on the inside and goes there. Starting to get the frame, ladies and gentlemen. Frames coming together. Okay. Now we're getting a nice, make sure it's the right measurement. It sure is. Always make sure your measurements are correct. Always important to do so. Popping that through and the red. Oh no, sorry, I've got the red on the wrong side. There we go. That's better. We're leaving a little bit at the end. Probably just leave a little bit more. We can always adjust that later. And then we're getting the grey L piece. And popping that through there. This is the only thing about the Lego Technics range. When you get to these pieces, they're very, they're just loose, right? They're hanging there until you finally put them all together. Okay. So now we're getting the 13 piece. Always check it out on your Lego thing, if, uh, your Lego instruction book, if you can. That's just what I do. Makes my makes me feel better. All right, we've got one little orange flower because that's essentially what it is. It's an orange flower. One black stu uh, uh, connector. I was going to say black stud again. One blue and one short black. No gray. It's a gray. Short gray. There we go. All right, so this is going to go in there. Double will go in that spot. Then on the other side, one, two, three, one, two, three, in that one there, we're going to pop that bad boy. And then our little orange flower, our papaya flower, will go there. Then this slots in Ooh, I think I have a wrong piece Because I can't put that through there One second Ah, I need the longer one that's why. Muzz, come on. Hit in the game. Let's go. Okay. There we go. We've now got that piece settled in. <laughs> Muzz, come on. Okay. So it's one of these... And that goes like that. Very basic, very simple. All right, here is our push-pull. So this bad boy now. The engine of the whole thing is going to have 
a one the double stud put in there and then it's going to go I didn't realize before that belongs in there. Okay. So that's now in place there. So that goes up like that and that connects it. So there we go. We've got that first part. The real mechanics of it is now set in place. It's all solid. It's ready to go. Uh, like I said, this is the back end of the car. That can be adjusted as needs be. That's going to be, let me see there. I can actually do it now. Now, if you can hear it, I don't want to put too much torque on it, but that's in place. That's ready to go. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Especially when one piece is like stuck behind, and you can you can't really tell. You do need to take the double take. Okay, now we get. See, this is why I like to collect my pieces first, put them here, and then put them all together. It makes my life so much easier. So if, it, if I, you know, step away for a second, that's what I'm doing. And like I said, you have to take notice because I did screw up on that last one, which we picked up early. Because the last thing you need is to go through a whole set, get almost done, and then that piece that you missed or, or put the wrong piece in back earlier, it comes back to bite you on the ass. Um, I don't really want to, I don't like taking these apart, especially the technical techniques ones, because they are pretty full on. Okay. Okay. We're set. That's the frame. So this this is going to be the other side. Similar to this, it's going to have those pieces in place. We put the red stopper. I think that kind of looks even. Yep, that should be fine. Okay. This is... Yeah, well, I've said this before. To me, this is just really kind of cathartic. Just being able just to chatter away and just do something I really love. Mr. One by One plate in Seinfeld set. I had to remove part of the wall to fix it. Silly me looking for more at the picture than the piece count at the top. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, look, I will say this. I'm glad I haven't had to pull anything apart as yet. Touch wood. I don't want to. But if it needs be, I'll do it. But how the, how'd you find the Seinfeld set? Actually, I'm not a Seinfeld fan personally. Don't hold that against me. But how did you find it? I've uh, I've not built it. I don't have it. That one there. One. And two. Oh, I need that T unit as well. Goes there. And then this. So this goes, oh wow, this is, um, wow, it's getting really technical here. Okay, I think this is it. It goes in there, and that goes in there. Okay, I think that's right. Yes, I think that's right. Okay. 
Uh, the other L shape. Concentration, concentration. It was a fun build, didn't take too long if I recall. I have a general gripe when it comes to scaling of furniture where low chairs should not elevate a person higher than the standing minifig. Yeah. That's that's the that's the interesting thing you find with uh, the ratio of size to minifig to the set. Um, the only only set that I know that's actually to scale to a minifig is the Millennium Falcon UCS. That's the only one that I know of, and correct me if I'm wrong about that. And that in you know in itself has a lot of pieces and costs a fair bit. Two in that. Two in that. Okay, angled. So that that piece is in there angled. We good. There's a lot of work on, on this side of the 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 car. Let me see. How many pages? Only 88 pages. 88 pages, that's all. Okay. Let's go with that. Alright. Another T. Another one of these. Another L shape. Another bad boy. And another one here. <coughs> I've been doing a lot of the, um, the Technics a lot lately like the the nascar and the mustang are the two that i've got up there um star wars ones the helmets baby yoda <laughs> uh the only millennium falcons we've built are the micro fighters or the millennium falcon micro fighters not even a big fan of the ship but i think it's the best micro fighter le i've got one i have i have a um Millennium Falcon micro micro um, micro fighter. Yeah, little Grogu, little Grogu, right here. He's just there. If you can see him, let me get him for you. Little Grogu. This was a fun build, this one. This was a very, very fun, very tedious. A lot of little pieces, but very fun. Uh, articulating hand. Articulating head is, no, I don't, it is move as well. Little, little, little gorgeous little fella. He reminds me of Alex a bit, little mischievous little thing. Um, I have Yoda. I have not done Yoda. I don't know if I'll ever do Yoda, but... This one was fun. He's cute. I've seen um, some Lego uh, collectors, creators, content uh, builders. Uh, what am I up to? This one. Um, actually get a second set just for the parts. That's it. I'm just like, no! Need to do it all. Uh, two of that. Good. Okay. Yeah, so Grogu was nice. Grogu was a great build. Um, I have the Razor Crest. I haven't built it yet. I would love to build it someday. But it's massive. It, this is not the UCS set I'm talking about either. This is the uh, just the standard one. That I haven't built yet. Okay, so this we're going to copy the other side, so it's just a repetitive move. I still have my Captain America shield to do. I had a look at that again and I've gone, this is going to be so repetitive, that Captain America shield. It's not funny. Because it's basically a big round circle with a lot of pieces exactly the same but still going to be once it's built it's going to look epic okay four long blues okay, three 
three, four. Two short blacks. Witch casting. Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. How are you going tonight? Hope you're doing well. One, two, three. We're doing the Lego Technics McLaren Extreme E race car tonight. That's right through. Okay, excellent. That piece is now set. This chassis is coming into play now. How's Australia? Is it hot? To be totally honest, it's freaking muggy as, man. It is. We've had so much rain lately, um, and the rain's going to continue. But it's been so muggy. And, like, a thing about last, last week... We had the muggiest night in Australia. The dew point was at like 26. And that's that makes it stifling and very difficult to sleep. So yeah, we're doing well. We're still going here. Typical Australia doing crazy shit like that. <laughs> but yeah, so it's not been... It's like... I think we're looking to get like Friday or something like that. Friday, Saturday potentially. Getting very, very hot. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Two. So this is the interesting thing about Lego, right? I'm doing the other side, like the other bracket, right? And this in this box, this box piece, it's asked me to put three blue doubles and only one on the other side. Yet this is asking me to put a heart, like a one stop. Like blue double there, a blue double there. So it's basically going to match. Uh, one, two, three on the fourth. Right, but this is the interesting thing. So I think, well, why didn't you just put it there in the first place? Is now. Right. I, 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 I put this in. I've got two that clip here and the black piece down the bottom, but then I put the exact same ones that were on the other side. It's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I have a few things in the backlog. Uh, Santa sleigh, Harry Potter bathroom, why I like the mirrors and the sinks. Uh, the Indiana Jones diorama and the frozen castle I bought used on eBay. Nice. Nice. The Indiana Jones diorama. What diorama is it? Okay, see, that's coming now. Coming a bit more into play. This still has not been connected yet. Which is correct. Yeah, which diorama is it? Is it uh, Temple of Doom? Oh, now I'm getting told by uh, Discord that my streams uh ah oh, the Temple of Doom Golden Idol. Yes, I love that. I love that movie. I love Temple of Doom. Uh, oh no, not that piece. I want that. Two of those, and one of the long ones. There we go. There we go. One on this side. Ooh, what a catch, Muzz. Speaking of catches, the cricket is on in Australia, down in Adelaide. Australia versus the West Indies. West Indies putting up a bit of a fight this afternoon. Very interesting. Okay, so now we want to add that to the... To, we're basically replicating the other side. Yep, that's exactly what we're doing. Replicating there and there. That's in place. So now, we get our T-piece. T-piece. And that goes in there like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, Mars. Concentrate Mars. Ooh. 
There we go. Now this will go into its correct spot eventually with a little bit of brute force. There we go. Sometimes you just need to brute force things in. Okay. Everything looks the same on either side. Watch your tri trilogy on a plane last year because I only recalled scenes from them. I think the second film is least of the three but better than the fourth. Um, my favourites are Temple of Doom and uh, Last Crusade for Indiana Jones. They're my favourites. I haven't seen them in so long though. Uh, okay, so that's that. Right, now we're getting into some yellow rods. Orange rod, papaya. Sorry, the colour is papaya. For those who don't know, McLaren have a specific colour. Um, the orange is not orange, it is papaya. It's another fruit, papaya. Black is black, it is what it is, right? There's no change in that. Where's this? Oh, yeah, that's one of those. Where did that come from? Random pieces landing on me. Okay. Um, so, yeah, papaya and... Uh, papaya and black is their main colours. All right, so we're popping that in there. And this is going... Only one part in. There we go. And the second one. Only going one part in, as we can see there. Okay. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. These bad boys. You know you're starting to get into the nitty-gritty when these bad boys come out. Okay. Those two. Okay. Yeah, it, so nothing more random than bright red and blue pieces in the Batman's head. Yeah, I was talking about that the other night. There's fillers, lots of fillers in my Lego hel in my helmets, my Star Wars helmets. I've got fluoro yellow, greens, blues, purples, everything. Um, from the outside, you see nothing of it. Sylvie on YouTube, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. How are you going tonight? Hope you're doing well. We are doing the McLaren E Extreme E Racer tonight. Albino Man, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. How are you, mate? Hope you're doing well. Okay. Okay, going to need two of these uh, covers and two black rods. Okay, I love these little details, right? Um, uh, RD, which Batman set is it that you got? Speaking of, have you seen the um, the new Bat... Uh, the new Batman, or I don't think it's new, but the Batman Showcase, which is uh, the show box, which is the, the the shape of the logo, but it opens up to show a Batmobile and all that sort of jazz. You're getting a new TV tomorrow, Albino Man. Nice. What'd you do to the other one? Throw a controller into it. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. That was funny, though. You've got to admit. <laughs> Normally, if someone's getting a new TV, a controller's just gone, yeet! Impressive! Hey, uh, Zatik, hello and welcome. You have uh, technically are first in the chat because you've selected first in the chat and no one else did. Um, good work. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, see, these pieces here, they, they give me the ick. Right, they give me the ick. Right, because you've got to make sure you've got the right side of it. And it's number 21. That is not it. That's number 22. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and focus in on it. You see there's a number right in the middle there? For those who don't know, so you can tell which one's left or right, you follow the number that's actually on the, the Lego book. 
old Sony Fury TV from 20, uh, 2007. Okay, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Okay. So one there. And one there. And then we're getting two. We're going one in the back. And one in the front. Okay, so that piece is like that now. <coughs> oh, and then we're adding more to them. So that one there. We're going that one there. And talking about uh, filler pieces, this random... You know what this... This is this is the uh, inanimate carbon rod from the Simpsons. It's now part of Lego. So this for some ah oh, this is just to hold it all together, all right? Okay. So that piece is there. Now we need to get a sticker on there. It is sticker number five. TLC four K smart TV. Nice mate. We have smart TV. We just use it to watch TV. Doesn't do our shopping for us or anything. <laughs> it's just to watch Bluey. It's Alex's TV now. Alex is king of the TV. He gets to watch Bluey whenever he wants. Except when he's asleep. I mean, how good is Bluey as a show, period? Let's just not, let's not make any bones about this. Bluey is the best kids TV show out there and if anyone wants to argue with me you need your head red <laughs> yes we do we do it basically spends its time now on cbb's because that's where bluey is okay That shouldn't have happened. Come on, get in there. Okay, that's the piece now. Muzz, seriously Muzz. Get your act together. Do it right if you're gonna do it right. <laughs> Had it the wrong way. Seriously, come on. Okay, I will get this right. It will get in place. Come on, there we go. Done. All right, we're set. Now I've got to do the other side. <laughs> We've got to do the other side. And another one. You've got to find a piece and you can't bloody find it. So one of those, number 22, is number 22, and one of those. Black at the back, orange at the front. Again, another repetitive move. It's fairly simple to do. Rod there. Rod there green push rod oh yeah put the extenders on first where's the other <sighs> two year old and a seven year old in the house so bluey is no stranger how good is the show i mean seriously super luke how are you welcome welcome thank you for joining us welcome to the stream we're doing our lego tonight thank you for joining us greatly appreciated Okay, we've got sticker number two. We're just in the middle of doing uh, the McLaren uh, the McLaren Extreme E racer. I thought it'd be an optimal time, a perfect time to do it, considering McLaren Formula One announced their livery for the 2024 season. And look, it does look good. I'm not necessarily a McLaren fan. Specifically, I will say yay, go Oscar, because he's an Aussie. I'm more of a Danny Rick fan. So for a time there, McLaren was not a favourite of mine. Still don't like Zach Brown. think he's a dick. But it is what it is. 
Oh, Benny Man, thank you very much for the hydrate. I need it. Okay, those pieces are done. There we go. Let me get a drink first. Ah, that was well needed. Okay, those pieces are now in place. They are the right way around. And we'll get continuing. Because the last thing I want to do is put the wrong pieces in, the wrong way around. And then that just screws everything up. Okay, these bad boys go here. How's Alex and Mr. Supermuzz? They're going well. Alex is asleep. Mr. Supermuzz is about to go to sleep. They're doing okay. Alex is doing well at daycare. Well, speaking of the devil, here's Mr. Supermuzz. Hello, Mr. Supermuzz. How are you going? You're about to go to bed? I'll be fine. There is a... Look, it's a technique set, of course. It's just finding the pieces when you need it. You're not sticking the stickers on me. No, it's not going to be funny. Not funny haha -ha at all. No. There's this threat... This threat of violence from Mrs. Supermuzz wanting to... Yes, you know, it's like, I feel threatened. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's the piece I was looking for. Okay, these go underneath here. On both sides. This is a good example of what the image shows. Like, it's, it's kind of difficult to see where it needs to go. Like, you can tell where it needs to go, but it's hard to see you got the second one in there. But yeah, that's where they go, underneath. Okay, and then we've got our sticker, which is the big neon sticker in the middles. Now, we've got to get it going the correct way. So, it is facing that way. This is the sticker that we need. This bad boy right in the middles. And it's stuck to my finger. Okay, so this is an example of one where you need to put it from the side. We'll make it a lot easier. Perfect. Done. That was placed. That was placed so perfectly. It was not funny. I'm good. Some stickers have purpose. They're not general. Yeah, they're not. No, they're not. These are all purpose sponsorships for this vehicle. Okay. So now, this bad boy... We'll go this way, and these two protruding yellow pieces, or, or papaya coloured studs, are going to go into, they're going to go into this hole, but they're going to be difficult, of course they are. There we go, duck. And the second one, a bit of jiggling, jiggle jiggle. There we go. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, that goes like that. That goes like that. That goes out like that. Yep. We're set now. That's the back, the back panel. Looking good so far, ladies and gentlemen. The gumball machine gumballs. We find out our chicken shop at the, up the road has a gumball machine. I don't know why. Don't know why it does, but it does. So, if you ever need gumballs. Yep. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, that works now. Okay, so now we. This is the fiddly little bits right here, 
right in that little crack. Uh, we've got to get the right way around too. There we go. My fat fingers were not made to do little, little, little things like that, like putting that yellow cross beam right in that spot. They were just not made for it. Now I know there's going to be piping that's going to go across the front there, um, just so we can make our thing. You know, so we're going to get there. Okay, now we're going to put, well not our seats, there's going to be the, the back panelling that we're putting on. And that will go... I believe it's like that. So they're going to be our rear wheel covers. Yep, that's correct. That's our rear wheel covers done. Uh, do you build uh, any of the seasonal sets? The base on last year, Easter Bunny had a carrot build, a huge green plate to go over it. <laughs> that was a great fun way. Um, the only seasonal one that I got was the gift with purchase I got at Christmas, um, which was the Christmas baubles. And they were actually really cool. Miss Supermuzz and I did them both together, which was, which was really nice. Um, they were the only Christmas thing we put up this year. <laughs> So the Christmas baubles were the only seasonal one that we did this year, uh, and I really liked them. I liked the look of them from the start. Um, we did the dodgy, uh, where a, a friend of mine and I went to the Lego store in Sydney, and we both bought something separately, but the staff member was really good and said, look, I'll just ring these up together so you can get not only the baubles, but the, the Christmas sleigh as well. And you can decide between yourselves. And I'm like, I'll have the baubles, please. Thank you. <laughs> so we paid enough for, to get both. I got what I wanted. She got what she wanted. And we're all good. Actually, I'll see if I can get them. Let me show you my baubles. This is one of them. I'll just get one of them out for now. Oh, I'll show you down here. That's the bauble. Little hanging piece. Little hanging ring. Seriously, attach this to it. Like, apart from the fact that it'll fall apart as soon as it hits something, this can cause a lot of pain. There's a lot of sharp edges on this. A lot of sharp edges. <laughs> you know, studs that are pointing out like that. <laughs> Lucky I didn't get the other one and just hold them out like that. <laughs> Yeah, there was a red, orange, and green one, which was pretty cool. Okay, let's get cracking again. That. Tell me, guys, if on stream, if I'm not putting the Lego in center view, because I can make sure that I do. In the end, I want to make sure you guys see this. Okay, these are going to be the little fiddly techniques bits that we deal with now. Let me start getting to this little piece here. Doesn't look to be a differential on this or suspension. So it's just, I'm really, I am actually, I'm really surprised there isn't a differential or a suspension on this. I guess it's got the pullback, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but steering, I don't think steering's even existent in this. If In saying that, for a $35 pack, this cost me $35. I'm not surprised. Sega Tricks, how are you, brother? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. How goes it? Come on, get in your hole. Are you too good for your hole? Okay. Wait, come back here, you. All right, then we're getting this piece in there. What's been happening, Cicatrix? Hope you're doing well. Any mods on there? Can we please get a shout out for Cicatrix? Okay. 
Now we need piece number 21. I thought I had a 21 already. Clearly there's more 21. That's 21. Awesome. How about you? Oh, it's nice to have these chill vibes. Yeah, like I said, man, this is Wednesday night chill vibes. We had to miss Raid Hour, obviously, looking after family with, with Alex is priority. Um, so that was that was definitely had to be done. And um, yeah, basically, we're just having chill vibes tonight. Sticker number six. So we're building the McLaren um, Extreme E Racer. This is a work of If you see me now, I'm actually biting my tongue because damn it, I had it right, had it per. Come on, no, it's not perfect. Let's put it back on this. Hate it when it's not perfect. I hate it. You know, I go bag out Lego before for not putting the stickers on straight. And I go and do it. Okay, that should be right. There we go. Okay, so that piece is now put on. Uh, I totally forgot you are uh, to ask opinions on Gunther Steiner sacked by Haas. I'm a fan of Gunther. I think there's two parts to the story. Has Gunther done it? Had Gunther done enough with Huss? No, but but did he have enough to work with? Gene Huss has been known to say, see, we're talking Formula One talk here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the um, the team principal for um, for Huss, Huss Racing. Um, Gunter Steiner, who was who was a secretary, says he's an absolute character. If you haven't seen what he does, go watch Drive, the series of Drive to Survive on Netflix that have passed. Um, he's an absolute. He's a funny bastard, right? He doesn't. He doesn't cut. He doesn't mince his words, and then sometimes his words are just totally. <laughs> but he's an absolutely absolute character, right? Haas finished last this season uh, out of all the, the 10 constructors. And you don't want to finish last because you get fuck all, right? And yes, that's up to the pr the, the the team principal in uh, Gunter to actually, um, to actually get the team there. But I will say this. Um, Sikadrix, you said you understand that Gene's decision. Yeah, okay. Gene Gene Huss, he's an American bloke, has a decision to make to keep someone. Now he's he's gotten rid. He's basically said to Gunter, "Out the door you go." Problem is, what's coming out of the garage at Huss is that there is no investment from Gene Huss. Like, apparently they're working with equipment that's five, six, seven years old. And when you're dealing with Formula One, um, you kind of have to be on the cutting edge of things or you will fall behind. If Gene Haas is not willing to spend the money, he shouldn't be in Formula One. Simple as that. Now, in saying that, there are already rumors flying around that Andretti Racing, who are looking for a spot in Formula One, potentially could buy out Haas and rather than fight for a spot, take Haas's spot. I'm actually excited for Andretti Racing to come into Formula One. That will see GM, General Motors, come into Formula One. Historically, in Australia, I'm a Holden person. I'm a Holden fan. Holden was owned by General Motors or, is, or was owned by General Motors. So essentially, I'm a General Motors person as opposed to a Ford person. Um, that's not such a big thing over in the U.S. as it was here in Australia. Ford versus Holden, that was the whole basis of our supercar series for many, 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 many years. Um, it still runs through me. I'm a Holden man all the way through GM Holden. Um, so yes, that will be very interesting to see what happens there if uh, Gene walks away and lets Andretti take over. 
Okay. That. Yeah, that's right. That's either side of that one. Yep. Yeah, okay, good. Sorry, I just had to get my bearings. Oh, you son of a motherless goat. Bring back Eddie Jordan. No, no, no. You know who we bring back? The guy, the Aussie guy that used to own Minardi. Now that's... What was his name? He gave a couple... He gave, I think he gave... Um, Weber his start. Yep, that's what I wanted. That's That piece is right there now. Now we've got to repeat this on the other side. Eddie Jordan was Jordan Racing. He's a, he's the one who um, started Formula One, the Formula One career of uh, Michael uh, Michael Schumacher before he went off to Benetton and then on to Ferrari. Um, Eddie Jordan is an absolute character. Think of him a '90s version of Gunter Steiner. There were, there were, he's actually got a podcast now. Um, he does Sicker Tricks. If you haven't seen it, he does a podcast. I think it's with uh, David Coulthard. David Coulthard. I have, I have great respect for David Coulthard. I didn't like it when he was racing for McLaren. Um, but still, great respect for him. He's he's, he's done a few skits with... Um, not skits, but yeah, we'll call them skits with... Uh, um, uh, Red Bull, uh, not skits, but clips where he's gone into the RB18 and raced with that, which is an absolute, this is last year's car. Um, yeah, no, David Coulthard, good man. Uh, they had the, they had two liveries, so they had the snake livery, but they also had the wasp. Who doesn't love Lightning McQueen? Let's be honest, RD. Um, speaking of NASCAR... Oh, damn it, wrong way. Concentrate, Mars, come on. How's that for NASCAR? This is the Camaro. The Chevy. Actually, let me just pop it on just chatting for a sec. Here we go. There you go, RD. This is the uh, one that has that the differential underneath. See, this is a this is a real Technic set. When you get that differential running through um, underneath, you've got the, the the drive shafts. You've got the steering col the steering shaft. Um, you have the little. And if you can see them, let me just. You just have the the pistons running. You can see that on the inside. This is this is a real room room. I've, so I've got this the GM the Chevy and the uh, Ford Mustang as well. There's one that I'm looking to get my eye on. It's the Shelby Cobra that's currently out. The create the expert creator series, um, but it, it's a bit pricey right at this stage. I've spent enough money on Lego right now. Um, so I've got to kind of take a little bit of a, a break. Now, I'm not saying that because I'm, I'm whinging. I'm not. I do need to take a little break with, with getting Lego. Oh. Um, because Lego is freaking expensive. And you just have to be... You kind of get caught up when you watch those these leg the Lego YouTubers and how much they um, how much they buy, but there is a way you can actually get Lego. Is um, if you become a Lego ambassador part of the Lego ambassador network, which means I need to build my community. Now they don't really have much in regards to Twitch, but what they do look at is. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So, in the chat are my socials. I ask you all a favor, <coughs> all 10 viewers of you that are here now, <laughs> can you please go on to Instagram, TikTok, and um, 
and YouTube. Please subscribe, like, follow. It would be greatly appreciated. A little bit extra. Every everyone come in a little bit extra and subbing and uh, subscribing or following. It would all be greatly appreciated. Um, you follow me here. You may as well follow me there because you're going to see a lot of the, you know, a lot of the same content. So it'd be lovely to have you guys over there as well. Um, so yeah, if you're willing, if you want to, just click the link tree, and then uh, follow me over on YouTube. TikTok and Instagram. Thank you very much, everybody. And if you know people who are looking for, you know, a content creator that likes to do Lego, that does a bit of Fortnite, and where possible does some more Pokemon Go, feel free to share the link, guys. I am, I am, uh, I would love to have the people that you know watch me, and I hope you trust me in giving them entertainment. <laughs> And that was a public service announcement by Muzz. So yeah, make sure you give the follows. It'd be good to see you on those other platforms as well. All right. <clears throat> Build a mock of the Shelby Mustang in the style of the Lego. The classic Batmobile will send on. Yeah, send it th definitely, man. And don't forget, join the Discord. You can. We've got a Lego section on the Discord. If you want to share that sort of stuff, please feel free to because that's. That's kind of what we what we have it there for. You know, we have a food section, we've got a Lego section, we've got Formula One section. We got it all. But I'll take it from anywhere. Gotta make sure I put this in the right way. Yeah, I think that's it. Yes, that is correct. All right, so this is going upside down. And this will go in these two slots, mirroring exactly the other side. So there we go. One and two. We're coming together. A little bit fiddly here, but we're getting there. We're getting there slowly, slowly. Uh, now we need the... Do, 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 do. No, that's too short. That's what we want. Flip this around. And this strut's going to go right across the body. Yeah. There we go. Done there. Okay, so we need, we're getting there. We're getting, the, the, like I said, fiddly little pieces right now, but, but it's fine. Uh, one red, one blue with cross piece. We also need that one. Red, not black. So we put one on the side there that at the back so that doesn't spin we're going to put the mclaren logo which will be number eight i've actually been having a look at some of the mocks um, from rebrickable and the like um, there's some really crazy ones out there. For mocks is uh, mock for those who don't know is called make. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, make our creation or something along those lines. It's basically you're building something out of Lego blocks. And one that I actually really want to do is the up house. Now I have the up house. Um, mocha orange cappuccino. That's right. That's exactly what mock stands for. The mocha orange cappuccino. Um, the up house. Now the up house is like a play set where the back is open, so you can play. You know, kids can play and you know, put uh, Mr. Fredrickson in his lounge chair and get Russell to walk around and that sort of stuff. But what they've done, they've actually done it so you can actually build a back of the house, so you can put it as part of a modular set and have it as part of a city, which a lot of people are doing. Um, there's one bloke that I follow, Brixy. Uh, on YouTube, his Lego City is astounding. 
Like so much so, he's moving into a warehouse. He's moving that sort of stuff into a warehouse so he can fit it all. He's got so much stuff. Okay, that's that. <clears throat> We're still keeping this upside down. Oh, of course, Muzz, you missed a piece. And that's this bad boy. <coughs> Hope you guys are enjoying the music tonight. It's part of our uh, free to uh, the royalty free music from, uh, I don't even know what it is, from Twitch, whatever it is. Um, enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we've got our big piece. Again, check the measurement. We are right, spot on. Four black pieces. One, two, three, four. You need stamina to do this, ladies and gentlemen. This is not something you can go, yeah, I'm going to pop it like that. Like, I see people speed build it. I'm not at that level of speed building. Uh, it's just too much for me to take. Good on you if you can speed build it. I mean, that's going to, it's absolutely nuts. All right, so this going inside here. Again, fat fingers, fiddly little section. Not made for fat hands now, is it? And the the piece it's going into, they move. Oh, this is nuts. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get in. Oh, come on. See that piece there? Right in there. It's being a bugger. There we go. There we go. A little bit of TLC. Got it in place. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, this can be frustrating sometimes. Okay, we're doing the same again, but on the other side. One of those, one of those. One of the reds, two of the blues. <coughs> and this is now going on this side. This will go at the back. The other McLaren sticker which is this side. <coughs> All right, come on. I'm thinking next week, for the Star Wars fans out there, I might pull out one of my Star Wars sets. I've got a uh, AT-80, which might be a, an awesome one to do from the uh, Battle of Hoth. So they're gonna have the white, the white uh, snow troopers, which would be awesome. Okay, that's in place now. There we go. Again, things are coming together slowly, slowly. Only 30 more pages to go. Okay, we're looking at number three. That is number three that we need right there. We need one black push rod and a double push rod. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, so now we need the red knob and the green circle. Nothing like red knobs and green circles. 
Again, we talked about filler pieces. They're basically filler pieces. Pieces that aren't really meant to be seen. Uh, sticker number 12. Post of the Mustang. Oh, thank you very much, mate. Greatly appreciated. It'd be good to see. Oh, I'll check it out in a second. No, I've got to do this the other way. Because I need to see where that point's going. The point's going to dictate where I go. Moved in the wrong direction. There we go. All right, a T piece and one of the black studs. We have a look at the Discord. Ah, nice. Ah, dude, that's awesome. I like that mock. Guys, go on the Discord and check out that little build that uh, uh, RD has put up there um, of the little Mustang. That's a nice little. That's a nice little set there. That's a nice little build. That uh, it does. That it, yeah, the back is really good. It's got that typical uh, Mustang look on the back end of it. Go check it out, ladies and gentlemen. That that's. Follow me on follow on the Discord. Go check it out. It's it's really good. Uh, that way. I need the blue. I need the black piece. There we go. So this is, oh, this is okay. This is, I'm going to see the piece. Okay, so it's angled. There we go. Okay, it would have been nice to know Lego. See, that doesn't seem right. Why is that? Sorry, guys. I've just got to re... Okay, I think I've got it now. Okay, all right, all right, ah, oh, come on. No, that's not right. Oh, this, this, this piece here is just, okay, reset, Muzz, reset. Make sure I have everything in the right place. Have this going in here. Okay. All right. I finally have it. Sorry that was out from the screen, but that was really difficult, that part. I don't know why. 
They really made it difficult. Anyway, whoo, that was, you know when there's one pieces, they, they just, they just become really frustrating. You just like, get in your hole before I freaking launch you. Need that piece. One double length. <sighs> there we go there. <sighs> one downside of that mock is that it required several clear one by one wedges as Lego still will not give us a two by one clear wedge. Um, they can, but they won't. I got four of them right there. Two by one clear wedges right there. This is from the Wally and Evie um, brickheads. So if you ever need the, the two by ones, you've got them. They're in there. Get the Wally and Evie brickheads and you've got at least four. I think Wally's got a couple as well. Get your hands of those. Or go to um, Bricklink. Bricklink, you should be able to get plenty off there. They'll have everything. Bricklink's a website that uh, you, if you don't know, or I'm sure you do, RD. I'll, I'll assume that you do. You can go there and actually buy bricks. At pretty decent prices too. Right. As soon as you said the two by the um, the two by one black, uh, white bricks, I've got. I know exactly. So yes, they are available. But I get what you mean. They're not. It's like Lego. It's not really a, a piece that Lego has a lot of or use a lot. Um, I don't think you'll find them in the pick a brick at the pick a brick stores. You may. They may be available. But they don't. They don't seem to be that popular. But certainly would be good for headlights and and the like, especially stripe headlights. Okay, we can now pop this into place. Okay, side panels are in, side panels are in. I have a feeling that that was meant to go in there, but it kind of didn't work. What's an acceptable amount of Krispy Kreme glazed donuts to eat in a day? I've done a lot. I'm not, not going to say, um, Sylvie. Um, not much is really acceptable because Krispy Kreme donuts are really full of sugar, so I wouldn't be eating too much of them. Okay, these bad boys are going across here. Okay, that's good. Now we have more of the black panel. I've got to find them. That's one, one red piece. It's going to go there. And number 15. Okay. So, yeah, RD, I found that piece for you already. <laughs> the funny thing, that piece, the, the 2 by one clear... The one by two clear is not actually in any speed races as well. You're not going to find it in speed champions. 
Uh, some call them wedges, some call them slopes. I mean the clear 2 by one slope. Oh, the cheese wedge. They come in lots of colours except clear. Okay, I got you. I got the slope. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The cheese wedge. As I hear a lot of people call it the cheese wedge. We're going to be doing the same on the other side. <coughs> Almost done with the stickers, ladies and gentlemen. You can see there are a few more to do, but black stickers on black pieces are really hard to... Really, really difficult sometimes. Sometimes just to hope and pray. got that right finally okay those two are there good okay need this piece ha and we're not using that side we're using that side and we need two short studs the two gray short studs there's one and there is two Trying to see there. This looks like it's in the front bumper. And two clear studs. One. Two. Lego auto release that in clear. Maybe there's some manufacturing limitations. I don't see why they can't do it in clear. I don't, I don't see why a piece like that, there wouldn't be a need for a clear, considering they have every other colour under the sun. Okay, this is a times two. It didn't even say, it, it says times two. What am I doing? I've got to concentrate a bit more, Moses. Come on. That can go this side. You watch, there's going to be a piece that goes underneath that. That's going to connect. It's going to be extremely difficult to connect because I have fat hands. Now, I don't know if you guys know, if you do, great. If you don't. But Lego has this thing called Lego Ideas. And every year you can actually vote on ideas that are sent in via Lego fans. So you can design and create your own mock and then you can actually send in those uh, ideas to Lego and then the public, us, can actually vote on what the best ideas are and Lego may actually get to the point taken. That's currently open at the moment. You can actually go and vote for some Lego ideas that are out and about at this stage. <sighs> There are some really good ones out there. Someone suggested the Twin Towers before they were... I think that's a little bit on the nose, but... Where's my next double link? There it is. So... Double link's going to go there. That's going to go there. So we are going to get something connected to the underbody here, the undercarriage. Hold on a second. Wow, it's absolutely pouring. Absolutely pouring outside at the moment. 
have you uploaded any IDs? No, I have not. I'm not that creative yet. We'll get there. When I get my collection up and running, we'll get more and we'll do some ideas. Never broke 1k on any. Uh, do you have them on bri on on um, brick uh, brickable or rebrickable? If you do, are deep. Um, if you want to share the share the uh, share the mocks on um, on the Discord. Happy for you to do that. It's no problem at all. Uh, we're piece number seven. Where is this little one here? That's eight, so this should be seven. Perfect. Seven, and there's one of these bad boys. Sticker number nine. Number nine. Number nine. That's all right. We're doing okay. Like I said, these pieces are kind of getting a little bit fiddly. But we'll get there. No, get on there. Close enough. So that's the piece that does that. That covers that. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to do the same again for number eight. Number eight. One red piece. And this piece. Sticker number 10 will go on it. We've only got, they'll not count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stickers left. It'll be absolute gold when we finally finish it. I always say that final piece, that final piece when you put through a, put together a Lego is just, it just has this great feeling about it, right? Tell me if I, tell me if you feel the same or not, but when you do finish a Lego set, it's just like achievement completed. Oh, I'm looking at number eight. There we go. Okay, piece of... I haven't uploaded to Rebrickable, but I have a few mocks on ID. Ah, oh, from IDs, okay. Based on Coco, one based on London Underground. Uh, one was a TV built around the iPod Touch. Uh, which basic, which because it's obsolete tech probably didn't help get very far. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's still an idea. It's still something that was out there, man. I, I, by the sounds of this, obviously you are extremely into um, your Lego, obviously, um, which is absolutely fantastic, and we we love that. Um, how long have you been dealing? How long have you been? Um, dabbling in lego and how long have you been doing your mocks for this is i i, I really want to get a really good understanding here this is uh things you don't know about your your chat uh, your chat when they when they come in that you want to learn where to begin from the beginning we've got plenty of time it's already gone two hours here, so we're still going just on two hours, ladies and gentlemen. Just on two hours. We're going to have a story here, and I'm happy to tell it. I love telling stories. For me, I had Lego as a kid. Um, always did. Yeah, every kid had it, right? A little bit here, a little bit there. 
right when i've uh, gone through my 20s and all that stuff kind of yeah you i enjoyed seeing things i enjoyed seeing builds and stuff like that but never actually had lego um it's funny when you become an adult you have that expendable income to be able to purchase said lego But yeah, for me, I'm a massive Star Wars... Oh, damn, I'm putting the wrong side again. Just make sure that that's correct. Yes, it is. Um, and I've always, always been a fan of the, um, UCS collector series, which are the more expensive Lego sets. Um, it was actually a friend who in the past few years has been telling me about how they've gotten into Lego investing. Um, which in its own world is absolutely crazy as it is, so. We're dabbling in that a bit as well. <laughs> Buying cheap, selling at least at retail. That's the uh, that's the goal. We've been doing collectors fairs for Funkos for many years, Mr. Supermars and I. Um, we've we've had a lot of Funkos that we've sold over the years, um, but uh, Funko is not what it used to be. So we're going into Lego. Oh, new wheel strut. Okay, so we need two T pieces. Two TPs. Well, that's going to come in later, but we'll keep that there. We need one of those and two of these bad boys. Uh, did some Lego building as a kid, not anywhere near the level uh, I do now. Started collecting minifigs around the time I got into Doctor Who. Began a quest to assemble a mismatched variety of different incarnations. Then started collecting small and medium sized sets. Had no interest in larger sets. Started doing Lego stories, deals with computer voice around 2015. And been doing pretty much ever since. That's awesome. That's pretty cool, man. Where do you do the Lego stories? Are they on YouTube, on uh, on TikTok? Whereabouts do you... It would be probably YouTube, Instagram, yeah? Would that be right? Okay. Let us... Let's pop that into place first. We're going to go a bit there, a bit there. I get an even amount there. Want to get that in there. Okay. Okay, that's our front axle. Done. All right, let's flip her around. One of these bad boys with two black studs and one gear knob. Literally, it's a gear knob. It's a little knob, see? Little knobs. We had baubles before and then we got knobs. And put those two underneath. And then we're going into this piece here. Done. <coughs> Ooh, interesting. This is not the piece. This is the bendy, yeah, this is the bendy rubber piece. We need that. 
Okay, so I've got one of that, which is that one to one. That's exactly what I need. And piece number seven. Piece number seven. And then this way. They were on YouTube, then copper came about, so I decided to host on my website. Uh, don't need algorithms telling me who my content is for. Not always for kids when Lego guns enter the picture. Hey, yeah, that's fair enough, man. That's fair enough. 100%. That's one thing that you notice about Lego. Like, you might have police and all that, but you'll never see military. You'll never see tanks. Uh, you'll see like Vikings and pirates and stuff like that, but you'll never see guns, which you know what I I have no issue with, um, at all, no issue with that at all. Okay, two of these bad boys, one of these bad boys, grey knob. And the uh, inanimate carpet rod. All right. All right, let's put this together. Then we've got to put two more stickers. Which is Extreme Live, which is the at for the Extreme X, Extreme E uh, race series, which this car is about. Now, in Australia, like I said earlier, this is a $35 Technic set. Don't expect major things from it in regards to steering and limited slip diffs and stuff like that. You're not going to get that. It's not going to happen. What you are going to get is a pretty neat little kit. Um, Push-pull. So basically, you pull it back and it pushes forward. Um, kid's going to... Kids gonna love that. Just make sure I have a little bit of a gap. And Lego insert is pretty much reserved for whatever story I'm working on at the time. Currently, Batman sequel. Nice, nice. I'm gonna have to check that out, man. I'm going to have to check that out. I'm looking for all new creators for for Lego to watch, get inspiration from. I need two of those inanimate carbon rods. Right, that's that done, that's that done. Put those two in there. Uh, add brakes on at the moment, guys. Oh, where are you? There's always that one piece that goes into hiding whenever you need it. It's so frustrating. Or, found it. I was going to say, this isn't going to be the first missing piece, is it? This isn't going to be the first missing piece. No way in the world. Okay, extreme live. One of those. Let me fix it up first. Jeez, jumping ahead, Buzz, come on. Slow down, settle down, Mario. You don't even hear me calling myself Mario on stream like that. When I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so we've got that there. That will most likely go like that. If I'm not mistaken, it can probably go a bit more forward. If I'm correct, but we're still keeping it up like that. Saw an online a video online of a cat jumping the top shelf and accidentally um, pushing a Lego DeLorean to the floor. So be fine with the available surface. If push pulling the McLaren from high ground, yeah, no, I won't be doing that, right? Actually, let's do a test, jackass style. <laughs> oh my goodness, no, let's not. <laughs> Let us not do that. <laughs> oh my goodness, the idea is going through my head right now and no good. How far can this fly? Wee! <laughs> Wee! So no stickers on those side pieces, but we're coming up to some more stickers now. We need pieces 21 and 22. This is 22. This is 21, just to confirm. We need a yellow rod. And one... A little door. I call this a little door, because this is what we used as a door on the burger truck we did the other night. So we're getting, wow, we're getting into real, some real techno here. I haven't heard this music since I used to go out in nightclubs back in the 90s, the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm feeling old, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling very old right now. Nothing like a whole heap of Euro dance to get me going out on a Friday or Saturday night. Of course it's not straight. Why would it be straight? Why in the world would that be straight? I mean, seriously. Let's be honest here. Okay. Okay, that's better. Stick is a little bit damaged, but it's okay. Sorry, I had to keep that one close because that was just getting messy. I'll do the other neon first. Come on. The fat fingers are really not doing it for me tonight. Okay, good. That's good. I like that. Okay, Extreme E logo. Okay. I'm getting there. I hate it when they just slip at the last second. You get them all lined up, and then zip, and it's like, ah, you, you rat. You dirty rat. There we go. Okay, this goes onto these blue pick. Oh, let me get it into sight here. In piece. Oh, this is going to be really fiddly here. I hate it when you've got these moving bits. 
and just makes it so much more difficult to get it into slot. Okay, so that, that piece is now in. We've now got there the neon advertising. I think that might go down like that, but we'll see shortly. We'll see shortly. Okay, next I need two five pieces. One nine piece, which is right there. And two long, two crosshair, two blue crosshairs, and an elbow piece. Okay, so we're going to start out by putting the long pieces through. One and two. On that piece there will be a sticker. This has been the most tedious part, the stickers. For a $35 set, you are never, ever, ever going to get printed pieces. This is really tedious. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, that's as close as I'm going to get that. Okay, so we're going to put the bottom bit down there. Surprise! Lego explosion in my face. God. Okay. Done and done. We're going to put... that there oh i need two elbows sorry and we're going to put that one in that's not an elbow that's an elbow so they're going to go there and there these will then fit There we go. There you go. That, that's exactly where things are going to fit. Now we have these two wheel covers, which are going to have the final two stickers. The final two stickers, which is really good. Uh, so we're going to need one of those and one of those. We're going to do the right hand side first. I'm just having a look at where all this is going. It needs to go that way. It looks as though that's going in there. And that's going there. Okay, yep, yep, I see where that's going. <coughs> now sticker number 23 goodness me the amount of stickers on this is just crazy let's get that come on there we go So that's going to go there and onto that locking piece down the bottom. Perfect. Next, we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. There's the other piece. One and two. Okay. 
Right, that's fine there. Sticker. Yep, that's right. Just had to make sure I had the right way around. And the last thing I want is it to be the wrong way around. Ah, oh, this is... We're not far off, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost done. Okay, now we're getting into the frame, the so the safety frame, the, the roll cage, the roll cage, that's what it is. One of those and two of those. Okay, the straight. Now the red piece. Uh, Googled which Lego set has the most stickers. It's a twin basketball teams. Oh, yeah, no, I, I would not want to do that. Would not want to do that as all stickers. Stickers with Lego can be freaking annoying. All right, that's that done. Goes on to the front, so this thing gets a bumper bar. Yay, bumper bars. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lego piece. Get in your hole. It's kind of like you got to jimmy it in a little bit. There we go. A little bit of finesse and we get it in there finally. That's the bumper bar. As you can see, so far this is the wheelless vehicle. It's going to need the, the we're going to put something up there soon, which is going to be these rubber bad boys. Now these are flexible, so they will go in that, and then in that. There we go. Okay. Basically, it's it's the wheels, ladies and gentlemen. Is just the wheels left. Let's pop these tires in place. Now there is an actual right way to do it. That is the outside. These are tagged either way, so the tread isn't really the issue. If it doesn't fit, force it. For Lego only. Right? We're talking for Lego only. If it doesn't fit in Lego, force it. Everything else, get consent. <laughs> Please. Please do that. <laughs> Don't want anyone getting in trouble. Lego can handle it. Lego doesn't have feelings. Just wanted a public service announcement there. <laughs> All right, we've got our tires. Need a little pit crew. Okay. This is not this is not fitting wow ah oh, sorry this is me being an idiot they're actually that is not the front that is the front hence why it wasn't working Muzz, read the instructions. That's why men need to read instructions, seriously. Your Homer, Mario. Your Homer. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the 
the push pull so just winding it up there it's a typical wind up <laughs> back to page one then no, no, i worked it out there we go it's your typical uh it's just back to like i said i've been pretty much used to doing speed champions and the like lately so they they had the stars shaped showing out okay time to put in the locking studs these are really tiny pieces that just slot in there nice actually you know what i have to say these slot in there nicely that is really good one last piece ladies and gentlemen this 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 little piece has been is the final piece of two and a half hours of talking sharing and building this lego wouldn't it be funny if it didn't fit <laughs> i know it's gonna fit it's not fitting what do we say if it doesn't fit force it there we go ladies and gentlemen the build is done this is the McLaren Extreme E Racer. For a $35 build, there's a lot of stickers, understandably, but it's your typical Technics. There's a bit of technicality to it, but there's not too much. The only real thing it has is the push and pull motor, which is just there. Um, there's no steering on it. It just goes straight. We do have a few spare pieces, which we'll put in later. We'll put away later. Now onto the shield. We aren't starting the shield tonight. I'm telling you that much. So this is basically how it works. You go that way. Yeah, pop that there. And there we go. Whee! Wee. I, I I I would love to show this to Alex, but I know as soon as Alex sees this, he'll tear it apart. He's only one, my little man. But you know what? This ain't a bad build for a thirty-five a cheap a cheap Technics build in cheap in the sense of price. Um, very hollow. There's no seat in it. Um, probably would have been nice to see a seat in there somewhere uh, but it is what it is very hollow but again we're talking at a, at a, a cheap price point of $35 so we're not talking about a $200 Lego set because if it was $200 Lego set this thing should be, be jumping rocks you know for this sort of build um, good little build like I said good little build nothing too crazy it's just a nice entry level technic set definitely will say buy it if you can get it if you're into the cars um if this ugh, i would have loved to have seen okay i'm going to show you an example of one of, of what i mean what i what i would like to see bear with me for a second guys Pikachu, that fat bastard. Mewtwo is so evil. You can get that. I want to give him a keychain name since I don't have one that's a constant source of misery when traveling to new places. Ah, another Alex. Oh, we call him Ale uh, Alex for short. He's only one. He's cool. And there we go. Another Alex in the world. I want to show you this bad boy. 
this is like my little ATV. It's got logs. It's got a back that opens up and all the like. It's got... It's 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 a nice... It's a bloody good kit, this one. I'm going to show you the underside of it. Here we go. What the hell? This is what I'd call a mid-range Technics vehicle in the sense that its price point was at about $150. I got it for really cheap on sale, and I'm glad I did because it's an absolute gun of a build. So this is the ATV, right? It actually has a winch, right? So it's got a little winch at the front, which is which is a working winch. Like I can... I can basically turn the thing out and this comes out, right? It's um, It's got a gear knob. So first neutral and second gear, which is down on the inside, right? There we go. Here we go, the winch. See, winch comes out. And then there's actually something I can... I need to wind back. Here we go. That's to wind back the winch from the side there right right so my winch is back in spot right uh it's got gears like i said first neutral and second down the bottom there we'll just keep it in first the back end here comes up it's a little mechanism there right the back plate comes down back comes up so it's like a top loader type thing um which is pretty cool the underside of this is where all the magic happens. See all those differentials? All for traveling at the same time, but then traveling independently. Independent rear suspension on both rear axles. Right? The gears here, you can see the gear change neutral. So there's no drive into second gear again inde independent drives as well so very much looser uh, but you pop that back to first gear right and it's a lock on drive yo jazzy how are you welcome welcome right so you can see here even the front independent rear suspension the one at the front steering with the uh control as well this thing it's a little bit dusty is an absolute beast of a build and this is what i would call mid-range right it was very technical to do this took me about four hours to complete four 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 plus hours to complete that's with the two the like the double differential gear uh the differential drives which i can tell you, you know how i was whinging tonight about things being fiddly this was freaking fiddly, man. This really had me going crazy. So no, it wasn't this one. We didn't build this one. This was an example of what I call a mid-range Technic set. It actually comes with a little chainsaw, which is pretty cool. And some logs, because, you know, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Um, no, we actually built this little bad boy uh jazzy this was the uh mclaren extreme e racer it's an off uh, off-road dirt dirt track racer um and this is the one we built tonight it's a very basic set but it's you know it's a basic lego i would call this a basic technic set this is your medium technic set a lot more advanced a lot more moving parts and then you get into your higher end stuff like the um, uh, like the Lieber um, uh, tractor vehicles, the, the the excavators, even the supercars. Like they're not the supercars are considered Technics, uh, like the the Bugatti Chirons, the the Lamborghini Sians, the Porsche GT GTSs. Um, those ones there are just 
But you see the size difference. This is a lot more bulkier as a Technic set compared to this little one. This one's very, very light. You send this off the side of a table, it's going to go flying because it does have, like I said, the pull back and the push forward. So good, really good for kids. If you've got a kid who's about seven or eight years old and they're starting to get like into cars and motorsports and things like that, this is a great little build. Um, a good introductory Technic set. You need to find a kid that old. Um, this is, like I said, a really good um, introduction, introductory set for like a seven, eight year old into Technics. Um, I enjoyed it. It took me two and a half hours to build. So pretty decent. Really cool. Had to mute you for a bit, but I was in the team school. That's cool, sick of tricks. That's all right. Um, I was just comparing the two Technics builds. So this is my ATV. That's full of gears, wenches, um, you know, um, uh, independent rear suspension, uh, limited slip diffs, that sort of stuff there, compared to this Technic set, which is a basic Technic set. Um, so, yeah, they're just a comparison of the two. Um, both were good fun to do. Obviously, I didn't do this on stream. This was one that I did personally. I really wish I had have done it. Uh, like on a YouTube video or something. Ow, sorry, neck needs to be cracked. Um, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll get a second one. Maybe I'll take this apart and redo it. Who knows? But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, see the no more stickers! The stickers are done! The scourge of Lego sets is the stickers. This had like 23 stickers all up. Glad they're finished. Don't need it anymore. But yeah, funnily enough, both have the orange, or in McLaren's case, it's papaya. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. There we go. That's our build. Whew. I'm kind of glad that the last build that we did was the, um, was the burger truck. This little bad boy. All right. It was only a very quick build, right? I do like it though. It's good, good, good little fun set. Um, but I'm glad we did this one tonight. This one here was a an absolute. Boy, it was a ball to do. It was a good one to do. Absolutely enjoyed it. Can you build me a sausage? You know, you know what, Jazzy. You you say it as a joke right google lego hot dog cart lego hot dog cart google it i'll leave that to you to lego to search lego hot dog cart Has he got, has a, has a Guy Fieri, uh, is there a Guy Fieri minifig? Seriously, RD? Is there? That would be awesome. Actually, that burger cart probably does need that Guy Fieri minifig. You know what? We'll just make one. <laughs> just get like a flame shirt, some, some white tipped hair. Like Guy Fieri in no time. It does have a, an actual... <coughs> pop the lid off here it does actually have a person who does have like a frame a flame apron right she's currently driving at the moment driving to the next location for the burger truck come on get in your in your seat and then we have our mate up the top here. His name's Jimmy Fig. He has a cochlear ear implant, which is pretty cool. I made a TikTok about for that. So go check out the TikTok about uh, Jimmy Fig, the mini fig with the cochlear implant. But yeah, there you go. So these are the this is the two cars that I've made, and this is uh, the one that I did earlier, well, many, 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 many months ago. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now 11.18 here in Sydney, Australia. 
it is time for Muzz to, as they say, end said stream. Because the build's been long, but it's been fun. We got graced with the news from Lego that they're also bringing out the Lego um, uh, London, the Lego London Red um, phone booth, um, which comes out March one. So if you're a fan of of London uh, Red telephone booths from London, or London type, uh, what do you call it? London type uh, dioramas, for want of a better term. Um, they bring one out first of March. The phone booth looks pretty cool. I'll pop a picture on the Discord tonight so you guys can have a look. Um, send Alex heaps of hugs and kisses. Of course we will, Jazzy. Of course we will. He's currently asleep at the moment. RD, thank you very much. It was great to have you on board. Thank you for, for jumping in, having a chat um, over on YouTube. Uh, Sylvie, thank you very much for jumping in and, and having a chat on on YouTube. If there is anyone watching on YouTube at the moment, please make sure you subscribe. Um, you subscribe, like, and ring that bell. For those of you who are on Twitch who don't follow me on YouTube, please go and follow me on YouTube. Um, like I said, I am trying to increase my subscription numbers. Uh, hell, you know what? Just follow me on everything. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. If you haven't already, get on the Discord. Why is my... Why is my social command not working? Can I get a hi? Ah, of course you can, Jazzy. Thank you for jumping over on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. I don't know why my socials aren't working. I have a link tree. I'll just get that link tree. I'll put that link tree in so you can. Yeah, so I'll just pop the I'll pop the link tree. It is all there. Click on that link. That'll take you to my link tree. My Instagram is not on my link tree why i do not know i will work that out but if you go on instagram and search for super muzz twitch i'll just fix that up now just do some uh, insta oh Okay, Linktree doesn't like Instagram. Okay, that's why. Um, okay, I've got to work that out. But Supermuzz Twitch is my Instagram. Followed you on TikTok. I'm already subbed to you on YouTube. Thank you very much, Jazzy. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Supermuzz Twitch on Instagram. I will fix that link up on my Linktree. I do apologize for that, guys. It's unprofessional of me. Um, in saying that, we're going to find someone to raid to, ladies and gentlemen. If anyone does have any suggestions, let me know. But I'm going to see who's on my list first. Uh, Trackmania, Illicent's doing Cyberpunk, Elf Energy's doing Zelda. Uh, not worrying with him. We went to Cruise Ship the other night. He was doing Prince of Persia. He's doing that now. Uh... <coughs> I don't know who to go to. Is there anyone you guys want to suggest? Caprice McBean's doing Fortnite and showing her boobies. <laughs> no, we're not going there. Who is Kilimura? Never heard of him. Kimura. Sorry, I'll get I'll get that pronunciation right, Cicatrix. Let's see what they're doing. Uh, Kimura is doing uh, some. Uh, oh, it's doing um, sword and shield. Yes. Okay. Okay. I I am down for sword and shield as opposed to scarlet violet. Let's do that. Let's go over to Kimura. For those of you who are Pokemon Go or Pokemon fans, yeah, he's doing um. What are the DAs called again? Um, 
I forget. No, I haven't played Sword and Shield for so long. Let's raid over. Alright, if anyone can jump over to Kimura's uh, raid with the with our raid, it would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to copy and paste the Musketeers are here. Uh, we'll be back on, f or should be back on Friday night if there are any issues, I will let you know. Um, we are probably going to be doing Fortnite on Friday as our Friday Fortnite Fiesta as always. So if you're keen to play some Fortnite, please feel free to jump in. Aside from that... <laughs> Everyone have a good night from <coughs> Alex, Mr. Supermuds and myself. <coughs> Happy hunting, stay safe, sending our love, and we will see you on Friday night stream. Thanks very much, guys. See you later now.